do I do I really want to you know crack all these eggs? Do I really want to measure my butter? Do I really want to you know wait for this water to boil? But you know what? After a certain amount of time that you've done it, and if you keep doing it over again, it just becomes oh, a, what needs to be right. It becomes second second hand nature. Same thing with proofreading and editing. The more you do it, the more intuitive it becomes. And a lot of times, the the better you get at it. A lot of times, you can catch things as you go along. Right. And fix so right once you finish for chopping up the cheese, the water That's is warm. That's interesting that you said that because I had to. I was writing a letter to Freedom Line when um, information concerning my account, and I typed information to them. And once I proofread it before I submitted it, I seen some errors up in that. that <laughs> And I'm glad that I had went back and saw that I had, you know, two two words in there saying the same thing, you know, or whatever that was, right. and chopped that thing down till I got it right. <laughs> it's important that you do that. Read what you sent out, like I said. Right, read. exactly. You gotta read. And and if I sent it the way that it was, I'm quite sure they've been like, oh, she's screwed. Right. You know, just how some people tend to judge you by how they appear, like how they dress and how they come off and start putting their, putting their clothes together. Some people judge people based on how they write. So if you're in a position where people, you know, actually read what you're writing and take it seriously, you yeah. may want to take your own writing and own proofreading serious. But this was, uh, uh, this was, uh, I had to come in that form of giving that Mindset and right. communication, money, talking, right. and all of that in a perspective way. Right, you have to, you have to do it every single time, guys. You have to, not every other time, every, every time. time, every time, every time. You know, and we're all pretty Proof. good at a lot of things, but none of us are perfect at anything. Yes, I am. Ooh, I can trademark that. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. It's in T-shirts and bumper stickers already. Not that worded that way. I think I'm a trademark there. I think my, my mark in history. Yes. Hurry up. I know, right? Heard. I know you probably already on it. No, yeah. I didn't, <laughs> didn't have my last spiral on. Oh, you probably got the paper up there on the screen. All right, tongue twisters. What was the takeaway from tongue twisters? What, what, what was the takeaway from tongue twisters? I'm I'm not going to say it, that's not too much. Concentration, what else does it allow you to do? Enunciate. Enunciate, what else? Just before going into an interview, or Relax. Be before we speak in front of a lot of people, it relaxes you. Yeah. The, 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 the kind of gets that, that last bit of so. edge off. So they're, they're, they're not made for, it's just made to just to kind of like, you know, it's like a warm up. So get, get your jaw, get your jaw ready, you know, get, your, get yourself together, you know, be ready to be able to your speak. Face. Say that again? Your face. Yeah, that too. That too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know how in singing we do yeah, ye, I, O, U, and me, 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 me. Like, you're getting your voice <coughs> ready. You want the same thing with speaking. So tongue twisters are just, uh, just a comic relief. It's trying to, like, get the edge off, get those last minute nerves off. You know, it's good for you. What about fair fighting? Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question about that? Yeah. When you talk about fair fighting, right? I know there have been times when I can come into an audience of people, whatever, seven down and And if you're singing to me fair fighters, I'm kind of if you are a person that just gonna stand up there and do it, I, what what am I fighting? You know, I know you got different. I know what I do have a habit of doing sometimes. And I'm like, kind of like, but that, mm -hmm. is that implicating that fear or what? Because I, I be excited, you know. I don't have like a fear for it. I just get out there and do what I got to do. Right, and, and some people are just yeah. born speakers. They can just speak in front of any crowd and just deliver without nerves.